hello people so this is going to be for whoever out there who has leo in that you know so this can be you or this can be someone that you're dating and again it would help you if you watch the two other um, episodes that i did about you know i will put a link down below because there is a lot of information there's a lot of history that's really going to help you understand what this actually means so if you have Juno in Leo, you are this kind of star seed. So you might, you know, attract people who are famous. You might attract people who potentially have the star seed in themselves. You can also have it in yourself. It might be someone who's a leader. Again, this can be in many ways. It can be someone who is a boss. It can be someone who owns a company. It can be some, an author. Is it can be someone who's writing a book, it can be someone who's a singer, an actor. With this placement, it, you might attract someone who might be a little bit lazy at times. You can also be that way, especially when it comes to relationships, that, you know, sometimes you just want to be lazy. Also, you might attract someone who's a little arrogant. You can also tend to be arrogant in relationships. This can also be with friends or in your family. You might also attract someone who's very loud, you can also be very loud in the relationships, but it is someone who is going to be fun. It is someone who is going to be this school clown, someone who wants to make you feel safe and someone who wants to make you feel, you know, happy. It will be someone who is very charming. It might even be someone who is younger than you or someone who is at the same age. It is someone who is going to have, you know, very strong ideas. It is someone who likes adventure. It might be someone who really likes to go to like adventure parks. You might really want to have a partner who is very bold, someone who's very expressive, someone who's very charismatic. You want someone to make you feel special. You really want someone to treat you like a princess or a prince. And you really desire your partner to be quite romantic and quite tender. And you want want them to never forget how much they love you you want them to never forget to remind you how much they love you or how beautiful you look or you know again you know you just really like that attention and you want a partner to spoil you with surprises you want them to really give you tokens and <laughs> signs of you know their love you want to know that they appreciate you you might attract someone with you know a very strong majestic personality and you can find charismatic leader abilities quite attractive your soulmate might be very playful and very like funny and they have this like very sunny character around them and they will approach a marriage in a very like joyful way um, they are really going to to be very like energetic when it comes to marriage you really want to take pride in your partner you want to show off your partner you want someone that you can show off so again you are going to to really look at how they dress themselves you want you know <laughs> you might be someone who finds per people who don't dress well because that you want to shape them into how you want them to look also you want to be able to share the spotlight with your partner so you might not like uh, someone who takes your spotlight you again you might actually be the one who wants to be the famous one in the relationship and the other one should just step down a little but again it can also be vice versa so you might find someone who has that you really desire generosity in a relationship and you want this to continue in a relationship so again you will be on your tiptoes when it comes to you know the appreciations in a relationship like this, like these tiny gifts and this like love notes and stuff like that. The hearts on the mirror after a shower. If Juno is afflicted with this sign, you might experience a partner who is very overwhelming, someone who might be a little too much. You might find people who overshine you in relationships. 
someone who tries to take your spotlight. You might tend to find people who call the shots in the relationships. So again, you are just there. They are the ones taking all the, you know, the decisions or someone who makes all the decisions. It might be someone who wants to know where you're going, how long you are gone. So again, they might put time on you. Like you can be out with friends for two hours, but then you have to get back home. The sense of bossiness can be like utterly annoying and their sense of pride might really get in the way when it comes to this relationship they might you know be very dramatic they might react very dramatically to situations or to um to you like in general and again yeah they it might just be someone who really likes to cause drama in the relationship to push you to again to to get the attention again or to get the attention from other people it might also be someone who's quite jealous it might be someone who's quite defensive when it comes to other people but with the good traits again you really want to attract someone who can be very open with you someone who share the same things someone who really likes to share like the sharing is it's a very joyful and heavy thing with displacement it's someone who wants to share things with you and again with displacement you will really attract someone who is very confident someone who is very strong someone who's a leader someone who is very successful um, and usually very attractive you really want someone you can be proud of and that is something that is going to be easy for you to attract your desire is to be admired by other people when it comes to you and your partner you want other people to really desire you and people will you really you know be like wow they are perfect together they are so amazing with the bad traits when it comes to displacement is you might attract uh, people who are very possessive over you someone who's very jealous someone who's very you know dominant someone who's often aggressive and if you don't give them you know all the affection if you don't give them the attention they will be very moody in the relationship and they will stay moody until they get what they want what you really desire in a long-term relationship here is you know a balanced sharing consistent love affection appreciation also if this means like uh, i love you now and then you know that is a good thing to put in there if you are in a relationship with someone who has you know in their in leo or if you have leo in your Juno, this simple I love you is really going to help the relationship it will help the relationship also to you know stay happy to do fun things go out for dinners or go out on adventures together watch movies you know bake a cake together do things together again this likes sharing and you know be loyal that is going to be everything for you know in leo i hope you guys could use it let me know in a comment below remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already become a part of this family and i will see you guys in my next video bye